Hi guys, welcome back. In this episode, I will walk you through on our cleaning session. As all of you know, we just recently moved to rural area in Georgia. Previously, we were living in suburban area in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Now, we on our mission to make this little shed clean and organized. We're going to start clean up this little shed by taking all the item out. Therefore, it will be easy for us to sort and filter the stuff we can reuse or throw in. Also easier to sweep and dusting the spider web. Anyway, they're using this shed as gardening storage. There's a lot of pots, fertilizer, cable, tool assortments, soil, and other chemicals the previous owner left behind. This shed like an all-you-can-get storage because since they're throwing everything inside, even a broken stuff. We spend hours just to take everything out. After seeing this, I keep making promise to myself that I will never let this shed be this filthy ever again. That's why I make this video as a reminder how disgusting people can be by leaving all this trash and nasty behind. Later, after all item out, we start sweeping the debris on the floor. As you can see yourself how dirty this shed is. I keep saying dirty because it is dirty. <laughs> this dirt came from the rats because the nesting and destroy all the cardboard into pieces. Also, the rats bite it into soil package and spread it all over the floor. Hi everyone, good morning. Today we're gonna finish cleaning up the shed. This is December 30th and we've been doing a lot of cleaning up. A couple days ago, I pick up everything and throw it to the trash, like the city trash. And Daniel trimming all the grass around the shed area. This is a shed, all small building. So anyway, um, what we're gonna do now, clean up all the pots, all the shelving and put everything back inside this small building the good thing is not really that smelly anymore but we just find out there's a leak inside this thing so let's get to work Before I put everything back inside the little shed, I need to clean up the plastic shelf that they left behind. We're gonna reuse it to put the pots and other items. I use water and laundry detergent to scrub and wipe all the dirt that stick into it. Again, it's not an easy job to do and not everyone loves to cleaning up, especially considering how nasty and filthy this task could be. But for us, this is our house now and we have a commitment to living a healthy and clean life. Besides, consider this as our daily workout. Yeah. 
Yes, we done. I could say I'm proud on both of us. The effort and time we spent to clean up this shed finally paid off. I still have a shiver though every time I'm thinking about all the rats that we found inside this shed. Thankfully, no more rats. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to keep up with our journey transforming from suburban life to rural life. And see you on next video guys.